Hey guys, Benji here and welcome back to my channel Bite Size Benji. Now, apologies will sound a bit funny, it's because I'm not feeling very well, but I really, really wanted to make a load more videos for you guys. So today I am doing something a little bit different. I'm not doing a let's play uh, or another reaction video or anything. I have got something a bit different, uh, which is this. Uh, a Club Nintendo magazine that I've had in storage for well a long time as you can see from the year 1992 uh, I would have been nine years old <laughs> when this came out and it's in pretty good condition I think um, it's not massively creased it's it's that is not bad condition I think but I just love it look at that front cover it's awesome. And in the back, adverts for Game Boy games and uh, NES games. I love that Mega Man 2 cover. Look at that. That is what you call awesome box artwork. Um, and look at that. F1 race. <laughs> Apologies if it doesn't uh, zoom in properly, but wow, look at that. It's high speed race for up to four players. Now that is a game I want to try and track down. So, yeah, I just thought we'd flick through it, you know, have a look at it and see what um, delights we can find inside and how different, you know, gaming magazines were back then. I mean, gaming magazines don't, there's not that many around anymore because obviously it's all online. But oh, I remember reading this all the time, every month as a kid. Look at that, first thing you see when you open up on the inside page is a list of the games that are out with little boxes next to it that you tick I think for when you get them or if you finish them. Uh, all broken down into like different genres like gun series, adventure series, arcade series, coming soon, Game Boy. Um, I always thought I might be able to fill that and get every game myself but they were very expensive back then. Um, next page Super Mario says I'm not going to read all of the stuff out because it will take ages otherwise but I'd say I thought we'd just have a look. look at these games I don't know if you can see it actually that side try that way there you go Lunar Pool Space Age Hustling not even the most ardent nine ball fanatic will have experienced pool like this Lunar Pool takes the basis of the green based game and then turns it inside out with some diverse and testing tables. Wow. Check out those screenshots. Well, that would sell you a game, wouldn't it? Road Fighter. I think this is the... Oh no, that's a review. This is the review section already. Um, there's no scores, I've noticed. It, but it does say review at the top there. Oh, that. Look. Four courses, residential area, bridge, coastal road, mountain road. So, yeah, nice little detailed look at the cane there. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, The Adventures of Lolo, Lolo, <laughs> Lolo 2. Do you remember the lovable Lolo and Lala? Not really. I don't remember that game at all, really. Um, it's just like a platformer. A little adventure game. But I'll never, never played it. Never tried tracking it down, I have to say. Oh, look at this one. Godzilla, Monster of Monsters. War on Planet Earth. Clash of the Titans. Monolithic Mites. Look, check out those graphics. Oh, I don't know if it's going to zoom in. I'll focus. I hope you guys can see that. Wow, look at that. Again, tells you all the levels that there is. Six. But even, <laughs> spoiler alert, you know. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, those are some tasty screenshots, I have to say. <laughs> wow. Look at that double page as well. Double page spread for Godzilla. Oh, Konami Hyper Soccer. So it's a bit before... Uh, international Superstar Soccer, or Pro Evolution as it's called today, or Esports Pro Evolution Soccer with its new stupid name. But, 
<laughs> oh, they actually do a tournament as a review. Yeah, Hyper Soccer, join us as we follow the fortunes of the English teams in the preliminary rounds. Okay, so England beat Japan 2-0, England beat Korea 4-0, England beat USA 2-0, and then England beat Mexico 3-1. <laughs> The fight for the World Cup continues only in Hyper Soccer. So basically, it's like a. They tried to make it like. You could be part of the action. Buying it yourself and then carry on the tournament. It's pretty cool. One way to do it. Uh, Little Nemo, Dream Master. Another platformer. Obviously, platformers are big. Massive back then. Uh, let's see some of those screenshots. Hitch a ride through the garden. Beware of the snakes! Oh, here we go. See, I remember this as a kid. Like, I always thought to myself, oh, I'm going to be in it one day. I'm going to be on the player profiles. Check these out. Look at those. Dinelli, Nelusco, Augustine, Nancy, some France, some twins from Austria, some from Spain, Switzerland, Belgium, Holland, Spain again. I've noticed there's a theme now in all of their favourite games. There's a Mario game. In nearly every single one, I think. <laughs> I do love that though. I do love this though. Ambitions to work for Nintendo. It's a good ambition to have. Ambitions to work for Nintendo, become a pilot and own all of the NES games in the world. That's a lot of games, mate. Right? Uh, to become a Nintendo game counsellor or a football trainer. Hmm. Game counsellor. Ambitions to work with Nintendo, to become a Nintendo saleswoman, to work for Nintendo and own all games. Own all games? It's not just Nintendo games. Uh, ambitions to become a pop star. Someone who doesn't want to uh, work for Nintendo. And to be a naval engineer. Interesting. Hobbies. The sea, boats and drawing. Okay. Nintendo games, music, hobbies, playing NES and writing. Cool. It's funny though, isn't it? Because some of these, like this guy, you know, he's 15. What do they make him now? 42 now. Wow. Double Dragon 3. It's the main cover game. Just in case you look, there's some radical new moves like punch, kick, a chump kick, knee lift. See, I've never really got into Trouble Dragon. I was always a Streets of Rage boy. I love Streets of Rage. Absolutely love that game. Some more. Oh, an advert about the Super Nintendo. Because obviously it was very new back then, the Super Nintendo. It hadn't been out very long. Um, the SNES can display 256 colours on screen at once, chosen for a palette of 32,000. Wow. That's amazing. Display huge characters on screen, up to eight times bigger than ever before. Play amazing eight-channel digital stereo tunes and sound effects. I love the exclamation marks on all of these. Give awesome high-definition picture resolution of 512 by 448. Rotate any picture on the screen around by 360 degrees. Wow. Now that is an advert for the Super Nintendo. Oh, there's the artwork page. Pretty good ones on there. Not too shabby. Some pretty good ones on there. That's pretty good. That one there. <laughs> Check his face out. <laughs> but still though, what? Is he only, what, nine? Look at that one there. Only five. That's not too bad. It's better than what I could do now. I can draw. No way. Uh, you can see I did a word search there. Win a Game Boy. Uh, that's the other side of Double Dragon there. It's more Game Boy. Is that Game Boy review, I think? Or Game Boy preview? WWF Superstars, obviously it's called WWF back then, not WWE like it is now. Uh, America's favourite sport, it's the Game Boy. 
I don't love, do love how it doesn't actually tell the title of the game. It relies on the box art, really. It just has that up there. More Game Boy games. Football International. Marble Madness. Double Dragon 2. Obviously game Boy's a little bit behind. The, the NES. Or Nintendo. We want to say it. Gauntlet 2. Pac-Man, Dr. Mario. Again, I don't think these are reviews. These are just like highlights of games. Um, Mission Impossible. <laughs> Doesn't really make me want to play it. Those screenshots, I have to say. Wow, Snake's Revenge. That's Metal Gear 2. That is. It's just a walkthrough. It's not a review, so it's probably not the best screenshots. But, um... Yeah, Snake's Revenge though. It wasn't called Metal Gear 2, Snake's Revenge, just Snake's Revenge. Of course, go on to be called Metal Gear Solid on PS1. Swords and Serpents. Reader's Tips and Tricks. Oh, see. It was all about waiting the next month for a, a tip or a trick for a game I had. and Yeah, and I'd be like, oh, finally, new tips and tricks. And then noticing that a tip or trick is something that I've already got already. And I was like, oh. I'll wait another month for one that I don't have. Oh, look at this. High scores. All those high scores. I always thought I'd get on there as well. I'll tell you what though, look at the theme though. Look how many. Look at Belgium. Belgium dominating. Pretty much. Kung Fu there, Belgium all the way. Look at that Batman. Yeah, look at that Belgium. They are all over it. Game charts doesn't really surprise me. Mario Brothers 3, Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers, the Zelda in there. And obviously Super Mario Land on Game Boy. Now, mailbag. Now this has got some gold in it. Now I'm reading this out exactly as it says on here. I'm not actually making this up when you hear this. So someone actually wrote in a rap and this is word for word. And I'm, like I said, I'm not making this up. So this one, dear editor, this is a rap about the Mario Brothers Nintendo rap. This is a rap about Nintendo. Come on guys, let's go see Mario. Luigi Gona, Meant to be Gonna, but it says Gonna. Gonna help us too. So hip hip hooray, good luck to you. We'll need our bum bags to help us along. To help us carry thing. Help us carry thing all day long. King Cooper, which is spelt wrong. It's, it's, it's Cooper with a K, it's meant to be. King Cooper is trying to rule the land, but he can't conquer our tough band. Getting through the levels is really hard. But when you get to King Bowser, he's a real retard. <laughs> Not joking. That is exactly what it says. Oh, come on, please, look. <laughs> King Cooper has lost his magical powers, so we won't need those helpful flowers. Mario has saved the princess at last. Now our big story has passed by Evan and Elizabeth. Well, isn't that beautiful, that one? But when you get to King Bowser, he's a real retard. Lovely. What else have we got here? Uh, oh, we've got another one here. Dear, Nin Dear Sir Nintendo Crazy, Jason's face on Christmas morning should have been some kind of warning of what was to be in store, irritating music and shouting galore. For Jason, when he is called, doesn't answer. We are ignored. This causes us to become quite mad, causing trouble for the little lad. We stamp upstairs into his room. Over the music we shout and boom. But does this stop him? Does it heck? We feel the urge to wring his neck. At dinner there is an absent place. This causes dad to go red in the face. We start banging on his floor. Super Mario's got a lot to answer for. I'm only mad because I didn't get a Game Boy for Christmas. Yours sincerely, Emma Buckley, age 14. I mean, the response from Nintendo, from Club Nintendo themselves is... Dear Emma, thank you for your recent poem to Club Nintendo. We here at the club office thought it was brilliant. I've passed it on to the editor for him to see. 
Please find and close a, a little gift, some pens and badges for the time and effort you put into the poem. Hope that one day though you'll get a Game Boy. Uh, dear Mario, Super Mario 3 is the best game ever for my NES and I would like to say thank you to all the guys who took loads of time to make it your silly Mark Binney. Yeah, oh, there's some doozies in there. Oh, another wrap. There's another wrap. There's three wraps in this mailbag. Here we go. This is the last one. Straight away, there's a spelling error. Uh, don't focus. Dear Maro. <laughs> Dear Maro, my name is Billy Hills, and I think that you have the best Nintendo mag out. And to prove it, I have made up a wrap for you. Nintendo is quite cool. The games, they make me drool. Buy Nintendos, there's no doubt. They're, they're real good, so check them out. I have 10 games, and none are boring. They're so brilliant. Yes, so adoring. I have Super Mario Bros. 2. Lots of enemies to be fought. I arrived right at the end, and killed the evil wart. I have Super Mario Bros. 3. I killed the wicked Bowser, and saved the sweet princess. And now we have to house her. P.S. I am 13 and a half years old. That's it. There's no... Yeah. Dear Billy, thank you for your recent letter to Club Nintendo. I have passed your Nintendo wrap on to Ida for him to see. We thought it was brilliant. Uh, I'm so pleased you took the time to write to us. It is so nice receiving letters from, club nin from our club members. Keep playing and enjoy Nintendo. And they've even... Oh, I thought they put Best Wishes Maro then as club president, but they didn't. Wow. Last one here. Dear gang, Dr. Dr. Mario, I feel like a pair of scissors. Well, you can cut that out for a start. Bye for now. <laughs> Great joke. Well, that was brilliant, wasn't it? Look at that mailbag. Some gold in there. And that's it. That's the end of it. So, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Sorry, it was a bit, the camera wouldn't focus, and I hope you could see some of the pictures and some of the words there, but I just, I had to show you guys that, because I thought that was brilliant. I do have plenty of other magazines in my storage that I will dig out from the years gone by, so I'll be doing many more of these, because I thought it was a lot of fun to show you guys, and um, yeah, there's a relic from the past there. I just love it, I love the 90s of it, it's so cool, but anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please like and comment below, and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, hopefully see you again soon on my channel. So uh, happy gaming as always.